Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a thrift flip that I personally have been wanting to do for a really long time and that is turn a pair of Levi jeans into a backpack. Yes, I know it sounds a little daunting but trust me it is not that difficult and I'm going to show you step by step how I made this very Levi's denim jean backpack. Yeah, I don't know what you call that. Maybe a, a denim jean backpack. Is that what we're going to call it? I don't know. I only used one pair of men's Levi's for this thrift flip and I recommend a larger size of denim jeans just so you'll have a lot of fabric to work with. I used a men's size 33 by 30 for just reference, but you really can use any pair of jeans. It'll just make it smaller if you have a smaller pair of jeans or larger. You could technically make it larger if you have a larger pair of jeans, but yeah, that's the overview of this backpack. But yeah, I'm really excited to get started. So let's get into the thrift flip. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a pair of jeans. I use a men's pair of Levi's, but you really could use any pair of jeans for this thrift flip. The next thing you're gonna need is some scrap fabric. I know I show a lot of fabric here, but you really don't need that much fabric that I'm showing you. The next thing we're gonna need is two adjustable slide buckles. You can also use the plastic ones, but I just preferred the metal ones. We're gonna need a large zipper, and then we're also gonna need a small zipper for the front pocket of the backpack. And then finally, the last item we're gonna need is some straps for the backpack. I just went to Michael's, picked up some strapping slash belting stuff, but you really could use some denim for the straps as well. Okay, so now step one. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the front of the backpack. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out a large rectangle for the front of the backpack. I will have all the dimensions linked down below, but really you can just cut it roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. Once I got that cut out, I am drawing a half oval almost. I'm just roughly sketching out. And then once I got the shape I really wanted, then I went ahead and I just cut it out. Now the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting out the lining for the front pocket. I just took the bottom of the front of the backpack and I just lined it up and cut the exact same size for the lining. So now we got everything and we're also gonna need that small zipper. I just took a zipper that I had at home, but you can have a smaller zipper. I just adjusted it and cut it and made it shorter, but really you can use any size zipper and then adjust it as long as it's not metal. As long as it's plastic, you could adjust it. And right here, I'm just pinning, so I have the liner, I have the front of the backpack, and then I have the zipper. Make sure the zipper is facing downwards, and then you're going to just sew a straight line on the sewing machine. And make sure you're using that zipper foot, because you, you need a zipper foot for this, which all sewing machines should come with a zipper foot, so you should be fine. After you're done sewing that, we're going to sew the zipper now to the bottom of the front of the backpack. I know this is two steps, but I really like the look of having the actual pants shown at the front and actually show that these are actually made from jeans. That is why I chose this design. So right here, I'm just pinning it. I'm actually using the top of the pants on top of it just because I really like that look. And now I'm just sewing it. Make sure you use the zipper foot there. All sewing machines come with one, so make sure you put that on before you start sewing. And also be very careful with your needle because you're gonna be going over like belt loops and those type of things. So you could break a needle. So I would just be very, very careful when you're going over those parts. So this is what it looks like, but we're not gonna worry about that now. We'll just put it aside and we're gonna bring back over destroyed pair of jeans. And you can see what I'm pointing to is that I'm gonna be taking the leg that we already kind of cut out on the back and we're gonna be cutting that one. So leave the leg that hasn't been cut yet and we're gonna be using that later. So right here, I just got my big zipper and I just put it on top of the pants to kind of measure how big the actual side of the backpack's gonna be. So right here, I just put it there and then I'm gonna do a little cut on the side there. And then once I got a little cut there I'm actually gonna start ripping it and I'm gonna rip it all the way up to the top of the zipper I'm just ripping it because it's a lot easier and plus you get a perfect straight line so why not a little quicker too and then after that I am just cutting a straight line across to the other side of the pant leg so like the inner inner you know thigh of the pant leg <laughs> and then I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side where I do a little slip and then I am just ripping it all the way down to the bottom Okay, and now we're just taking that front piece that we cut out and we're gonna lay it down. And you can see that these pants, it's not like straight, so I'm just trimming it so I get a nice long rectangular and there's no little, you know, inner thigh of the jeans there. And here again, we're gonna cut this actually in half. So what I did, a little slip, and we're gonna rip it again, you know? This is the fun part, getting to rip jeans. 
And once that's done, we're gonna be sewing another zipper. It's the last zipper, so don't worry. If you don't like sewing zipper, this is the last one. Right here, I am facing the zipper down and then I'm just pinning it just like the last time, the same technique. So it's nothing changed. You know, you're getting a lot of practice with sewing zippers if you've never done it before. And once I was done pinning that, I'm just jumping back on my sewing machine and sewing it straight down the middle of the side of the zipper. And make sure you don't run over those needles because you don't want to break your own sewing needle. And once we are done that, we are going to be taking it over and we're going to be sewing the zipper to the other side now. Make sure that both of the front of the jeans are facing each other and the zipper is still facing down. You do not want to sew it the wrong way. So, you know, you can check, flip it over, make sure the zipper looks right. Everything's working before you start sewing the other side. And again, I just opened up my zipper. So it's just kind of a little bit easier to sew. Um, you don't have to, you can leave it zipped together. It really doesn't matter. With your zipper foot, you'll be able to either way. Okay, so now we got that and that done, okay? So now we're gonna work on the next one. Now we're gonna take the pant leg that has not been cut before. And I just, I just chopped it off. I didn't really show you it, but I chopped it off and now I'm putting it inside out, just like you're watching. But right here, we're gonna cut off that inner thigh and we're just gonna sew a straight line so we get another, you know, nice long rectangular pant leg for the side of the pants. And then we're gonna you know turn it around so it's right side and then this time we're actually gonna pin you know one side of the leg we're gonna pin it like that the one that's like the top of the leg not the bottom where it's nicely hemmed and i'm just pinning it and then i'm just sewing it down so just so i have a nice edge okay so now we got that done now we're gonna be sewing it to the zipper so this is the bottom of the backpack and then that's the top of the backpack you know the zipper if you're catching along now so now we're sewing them together i just put two pins one on each side and then i'm just sewing from the edge towards the middle and i'm not you know sewing over the zipper i use the zipper that is actually for like a jacket so that is why i did it this way but if you have one that's actually meant for this type of thing then you could go over it not the plastic part, but like the fabric part. And again, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing, except this side, it was already hemmed, so I didn't have to re-sew the bottom of the pants, but there I am, just doing the exact same thing again. Not too complicated. We we're just sewing a straight line. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention, you can put your regular foot back onto the sewing machine now. We're not gonna be doing any more zippers now. And this is what it looks like, and it's a nice big circle. And now we're gonna be pinning it to the front of the backpack, you know? We're getting excited, and it's starting to become a backpack finally. So what I did is I just lined up the side so it looks, you know, nice and even. And then I kind of went all the way around, all the way to the other side. And then I just left the flap at the bottom kind of, you know, hanging there, because I'm gonna deal with that later. And again, I just jumped back on my sewing machine and I'm just sewing a straight line, nothing too complicated. It is kind of weird sewing this because there's a lot of fabric there, but you know, I believe, I believe you can do this. You can do this. Okay, so now it's all sewn. As you can see, we got this random flap at the bottom now and I just wanted to tuck it in just so I got, you know, a nice clean edge at the bottom, but you really could do the same technique that we did before. You know how it looks at the top. You could do it on the bottom, but I just chose to do it like this to get this appearance, but really it's up to you. This is just how I did it. This is just, you know, one way. And there we go. That is what the backpack looks like from the front. Okay, so now for the back of the backpack. I am using the leftover fabric that we have there and we are gonna do the front of the jeans and we're gonna put that on the back. So it's kind of like the opposite, you know? The front, the crotch goes on to the back and the booty goes on to the front. So right here, I just laid down the front of the backpack, put it over top of the jeans and then roughly cut out that exact same pattern. You feel me? Okay. The next thing I'm doing is I'm just cutting out that big bulky piece in the crotch just because I knew that was going to be something I was going to hate sewing over or I don't even know if I can sew over it. So I just cut that out just so I, I wouldn't have any problems. And then as you can see here, I'm just sewing it flat so it looks nice and clean. It kind of looks like a skirt almost, you know how denim skirts look like that. So that is what I did. And then I also just sewed the pocket so you couldn't actually use it. And then I also took off the belt loops. Okay, so now I just layered the back of the backpack on the front of the backpack and just kind of roughly looked, okay, what is, how is it looking? I'm just furthering cutting it to kind of get a similar shape to the front. 
as you can see I cut it way too big so I'm just recutting it smaller and also getting rid of the bolts on the back of the backpack because I know this sounds really confusing but I'm getting rid of the bolts because I don't want anything that could possibly break my needle or mess this stuff up okay so now we're moving on to the straps so my belting or straps it came with 1.8 meters so I just cut that in half and then once I had that I just measured each strap so I had two straps and I cut them to 16 inches each so I had a little bit left over for both I know I'm sorry I'm using two different metrics I'm sorry I'm Canadian so and then I did obviously for both straps so I have 16 inches okay and then I am taking the little buckle things and I'm just looping them on there and then I am just sewing back and forth so they stay on the straps if that makes sense does that make sense? I, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I didn't show this very well, so let me just take a minute here, and I'm just going to show you a little diagram of what I'm actually doing. Okay, so now we're back, and make sure that when you're sewing this, this is the back of the strap, okay? So, you feel me? But yeah, right now, I am just pinning it. I'm kind of putting it roughly in the middle top of the backpack, and I'm just using one pin to hold it in there and put both straps up there. And then once I had those pinned, I'm just gonna sew a X thingy. I'll show you how I do it, but it's an X, so I go straight line, pause, put the needle down, and then I kind of switch the, you know, backpack around put the foot back down and then I sew another straight line and then once I get to the end there I put the needle back down and then flip it around again I think you guys are starting to get the point now and then sew another straight line put the needle down turn the fabric around and then another straight line and then you know some back stitching and there we go we got a beautiful x thing and I just did that for both sides. So now that we have those both done I'm going to be taking the back of the backpack so the front crotch that goes on the back of the backpack. And I'm just starting from the bottom here. I just had a perfect straight line. So what I did is I just pinned it to the bottom of the backpack and then I just kind of worked my way around through the whole back of the backpack, just pinning it all. This does take a little bit of time, so I'm not gonna show you every single step, but I'm just pinning the whole thing. And you also gotta make sure that the straps are inside the backpack, not outside. So tuck those in there. Okay, so then once I had that all ready and I was like happy with it, I am going to be taking some of the pins out and I'm going to be tucking the final two straps that we had sitting there on the side and I'm just tucking them in and then pinning them on, just like I'm doing here. You can kind of just look and see what I'm doing, but that, you know, give you some verbal cues as well. That's, I don't know what I'm saying. And then I jumped back on my sewing machine and just sewed my heart away. This took a long time too, and it's also just a little, you know, difficult with that much bulky fabric, but I believe you can do it. I did it so you can do it. So once I was sewing, there's a little bit of, you know, putting the needle down and kind of swinging the fabric around on the edges. It's not too difficult, but just make sure you lift the foot up, put the needle down fully, and then move the bag around. And also when you're sewing this part, just like keep checking, make sure nothing's getting caught underneath. You do not want to sew like an extra piece of fabric and just have it all wonky. So just make sure you're only sewing the part that you're wanting to sew and nothing else gets caught underneath. And now for the final step, I have now have the backpack right side out, or I flipped it back out, so now I have the straps on the outside, and I'm just attaching the straps together. So I'm just kind of looping it first before I actually sew the bottom of the strap, where, you know, so it doesn't fray or anything. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking the end of the fabric, and I'm just folding it over and just sewing a straight line. Pretty simple. You don't even need any needles for this. It is freaking simple. And yep, just doing it for both straps. And that's literally the last step. And now you are done your denim backpack. And this is how it turned out for me at least. that is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed creating this Levi jean 
that pack. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. So I really hope you all enjoyed it. And if you do create one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, at Jenna Phipps, because I love to see all your creations. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all my thrifting and thrift flip adventures. But that is it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.